Did you know there's research that proves doing targeted exercises to six different muscles that surround your thumb can have a positive effect on your thumb stability? Therefore, stopping thumb arthritis pain and slowing down the progression of thumb arthritis. And ultimately, winning back your favorite hobbies that you may have given up on because the pain was just too much. Hi guys, I'm Michelle from Virtual Hand Care. I'm an occupational therapist and a certified hand therapist turned YouTuber here to share exercises and solutions to help you reach your max potential after a hand, wrist, or arm injury, or with conditions such as thumb arthritis. In this video, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of my three thumb arthritis strengthening exercises from my new upcoming 30-day thumb arthritis training program. Let's get right to them. Thumb arthritis strengthening exercise number one is called the smiley face. This is one of my beginner thumb stability exercises that you typically perform in the beginning of my 30-day thumb arthritis training program because it helps teach you how to correctly target the key stabilizing muscles of your thumb, which is really important before you progress into harder types of exercises. So to do this exercise, you want to curl your fingers and place your thumb on the side of your index finger. Now you can go ahead and place your hand down on a table. I do prefer to do this exercise resting down on the table because sometimes that table can actually help provide a little more support to your thumb and actually place that thumb in a little bit of a better alignment as you are working on strengthening your thumb. So what you're looking to do is imagine you have some eyes on your index finger, maybe a little smiley face on your thumb. And what you're looking to do is just rotate your thumb ever so slightly to open up this space. So you're basically trying to make a little smiley face with your thumb, but you're trying to rotate the thumb down. And if you place your index finger of your other hand, as you do that motion, you should feel these muscles right here at the base of your thumb. And so you're just looking to get a little contraction of those as you rotate that thumb down, opening up that space, and then relaxing. And really all of the movement should be generated down here from these muscles at the base of the thumb. If you feel like you're generating a lot of the movement from the tip of the thumb, that's a compensation that's happening. So making sure that thumb stays a little bit straighter against the side of that index finger and that all that movement is coming from those strong key stabilizing muscles at the base of your thumb but you do want to hold that contraction a couple of seconds and then relax. Now here's the exercise demonstrated on your right and on your left. And that exercise should not hurt at all. And you would want to do about 10 to 20 repetitions of those. Okay. Thumb arthritis strengthening exercise. Number two is isolated thumb extension. This is more of an intermediate exercise in my 30 day thumb arthritis training program, but this exercise isolates one of the more forgotten muscles, our extensor pollicis brevis. This muscle is responsible for helping support the back side of our thumb, where you typically see a bony bump, also known as a step off or a subluxation, which is one of the most noticeable signs of CMC thumb arthritis. So to do this exercise, relax your fingers, relax your thumb down on a table. And what you're looking to do is you're looking to isolate your thumb and lift your thumb up in a little bit of extension. Now you might think that seems like a really easy movement to do, but you want to think of lifting from this middle joint, your MP joint. And notice when I'm extending or lifting, I'm kind of contracting a little bit harder. I'm not just lightly just lifting up and down with my thumb. I'm thinking of lifting from this middle joint, your MP joint, and as I lift from there, the tip of my thumb is actually a little bit bent. And what you're looking to do is see a contraction from this tendon right here. This is that EPB tendon that supports the backside of our thumb. What you don't want to see is a lot of contraction from this tendon on this side. That's your EPL tendon, and that's not what we're looking to isolate. 
So you wanna see your EPB tendon contract, hold that contraction for a couple of seconds, and then relax. Now here's the exercise demonstrated on your right and on your left. And you would wanna do about 10 to 20 repetitions of those. And finally, thumb arthritis strengthening exercise number three is an isometric thumb extension exercise. So this one builds on to that exercise that you just did. So we're gonna actually apply a little isometric resistance now to that EPB tendon. So to do this one, go ahead and go back into that thumb extension. Remember, trying to lift from that middle joint, isolating that EPB tendon. Make sure that your wrist is in a nice neutral position for this. And in fact, it can be in a little bit of extension or a little back, which might make it a little more comfortable for you. And then what you wanna do is take your other hand and apply a little bit of resistance down. And then what you should feel is a little contraction happen with that extensor pollicis brevis muscle. Now you don't need to apply a lot of resistance with this, but you would hold a few seconds and then you would relax. Now what you don't wanna happen is when you apply resistance, you start noticing other muscles kicking in, such as the EPL tendon kind of kicking in, which would make the tip of your thumb kind of go into a little bit of extension, right? It's trying to compensate for that weak EPB muscle. So we wanna make sure there's some nice bend in the tip of your thumb, also known as your IP joint, and a little flexion in the middle joint or your MP joint of your thumb. And again, lift apply about a fingertip amount of pressure. Again, you don't need to apply a lot. And then you would relax. Now, here's the exercise demonstrated on your right and on your left. And you would wanna do about 10 to 20 repetitions of those as well. Now keep in mind, it takes more than just these strengthening exercises to help your thumb arthritis. If you wanna dive into more exercises, plus learn solutions for your thumb arthritis pain, then join me in my new 30-day thumb arthritis training program. Build thumb stability, preserve joint health, and win back your favorite hobbies in four weeks. 30 Day Thumbs is a turnkey progressive exercise program created to stop thumb arthritis pain, prevent future flare-ups, preserve joint health, and boost dynamic thumb stability for optimal hand use. Over the course of four weeks, I will coach you through a series of exercises and stretches designed to build healthy, sustainable thumbs while also teaching you lifestyle solutions for long-term pain relief. The program will take you through four phases per week, and each week will build on the next. I have made it easy for you by laying out the exact stretches and stability exercises for you to perform each day, taking you only five to 10 minutes to complete. At the beginning of each week, I will host a live video demonstration of the exercises to make sure you know how to do the exercises, performing them correctly and effectively. Plus, I'll be sharing bonus pain-free solutions that you can implement throughout your day. Then we'll wrap up each live with a Q&A session. That's four live sessions with me. But don't worry, if you can't make it to the live sessions, you'll have unlimited access to all the recordings, exercise demonstrations, and resources source guides all in one spot. Not to mention, you can complete the program anywhere and a minimal equipment is required. And as a bonus, you'll receive my thumbs up toolkit full of resources, guides, and educational tips to help you navigate all thumb related products, such as gloves and braces and gadgets and hot packs and more. But since no two thumbs are alike and you can't unfortunately undo the years of wear and tear, this program can be adapted to suit your needs. Whether that means you take a little more time than 30 days or whether you take the program down a notch and just make it a little less intense. Click on the link here or in the description box below to save your seat now. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.